Hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Welcome back to sort of another video. This is just a, might even just be a temporary video. It's a, it's a part B video, I guess, um, or part A video or a preliminary video, something like that. Next job on this, this Stuart 400 engine build is to bore the, the cylinder here. It's got to be about inch and a quarter, inch and five sixteenths or 33 millimetres or whatever it cleans up to, to be honest. Um, probably we could go a fraction bigger than that wouldn't hurt rather than a fraction smaller if we can, but I don't want to go through the bore and I don't want to weaken it too much. But I'm thinking it's going to be about inch and five sixteenths something like that would be great um, our piston casting which is this one I think is the one we're going to use is the soft one that will It should pretty well clean up to inch and five sixteenth. Be pretty happy about that if it did. So we're going to go until we kind of lose the battle of nerves and and decide that's enough. However, the most important thing about this is that this cylinder bore. If we have a look, needs to be exactly at 90 degrees to the crank. That's what's important. Nothing else really matters. This is a casting, so the patterns are, are wood. So we're not we're not got a huge amount of precision on the outside of this, but it's not as far out as you might think it could be. We're pretty happy about that. I've got the the crank in. Right, and it runs, and pretty happy about that. Now, how do we determine where this is? Because there's every chance that this bore here has moved while I've been drilling it, because there's a fair bit of pressure on that to drill it, and there's also probably a hard spot in the casting, so if it's gone past that, it's probably bent the drill or, or deviated a bit. And if we just run through it and bore it with what we thought was right, we're going to end up with something that's off centre here, and then the front of the engine's going to be remarkably off centre and it's going to look crap. It's probably still going to go, but it's going to look crap. And this push rod's not going to be in line, and the camshaft's probably not going to be in line, all sorts of problems. So, what do we do? We do, as Tom Lipton says, and interrogate the casting. Now, I've been messing with this a bit, and I have actually messed with it a bit. And a full disclaimer, I've done some alterations here to these, these two alignment or these, these points here, uh, which are datum points for the bore and for the crankshaft, and where we had them before. They were out a bit, and that's that's a combination of things, but I've just messed with them until I've got them right, and this here I think is pretty parallel. Now the way I've worked that out, if um, some of you are probably interested, I've got a gauge block stack here which is the same height. And I sat this up here on there. And on there. So what we've got there is our engine sitting pretty much so that they're level. What we need to work out, and if we shine a light through there and check, we've actually got a Stan Zinkowski torch that he gave us at the Summer Bash. It's an awesome torch, rechargeable. If we have a look here, I don't know, I think you can probably nearly see that. But if we have a look, 
that lines up almost exactly there. So this is square to the bench and these are the same height. So QED, I guess, that this should be square to those points now. Fingers crossed. Now, if we get a gauge block stack here and sit under the casting nicely, um, probably we can see that just and move it from one end to the other. There's no perceptible difference in the casting. So I'm guessing that the, this side of the casting or this, this side of the cylinder head of this side of the water jacket is is pretty well parallel as far as I can see here. If we get a square and we check up the side here, if we get a square and we check up the side here, what we find is that ever, ever so slightly, this part of the casting sticks out more than this. However, it's about 50, 40,000, something like that over the, the width of it. We're not going to worry about that because once we bore that square and face this off, then this surface here, as far as we can determine, and this surface under here, and a little bit of alignment space on the, on the base when we set it up, it's going to equalise out and you're really not going to notice it. So that's what I'm going to do is machine this off parallel to these plates or, or perpendicular to these, these alignment points, pads, and then face it at the same setting. And hopefully we'll end up with a bore that's exactly 90 degrees to our crank. And that's what we need to do. So that's got that straight in my head, and it's probably got it straight in some of in, in your heads too, maybe. But there's quite a bit of work in getting a, a casting that looks like this, um, from print to a pattern to a casting to a machine component to a working engine. It's not just all wildflowers and and country music. It's there's there's a bit more to it than that. So, to the best of my ability, and this has spent, I've spent a few hours on this today, but this is what I've worked out, and I think that if we bore this out to inch and five sixteenth on that setting, so that this is parallel through there, whether we set it up this way up on some blocks and clamp it down, or whether we set it up on this point here with a fence on this side and clamp it to that we're going to find that this bore here is going to be 90 degrees to this crank and that's what's important. The rest will finish off and probably you'll find that if we set this up on the on the, on the the base plate and we have done, that this casting is a little bit tall on this side anyway. Um, the alignment's not quite right and you've got on this parting line just here, there's a little bit higher on the bottom half than the top half all the way across. So probably the pattern's not exactly right and probably the crank wasn't exactly parallel or, or perpendicular to the casting. But if we work on what we've got here, we can fix that and it's going to be ice sweet. No one's ever going to know except us and we're going to have an engine that is probably going to turn over and run. Anyway, I just want to make a short video about this because that's what's happened and this is some of the behind the scenes stuff that you probably don't always see when people are making engines. But that's my thinking behind this and hopefully, hopefully when we get this board, which is probably going to be the next video, we will end up with a perpendicular crank and, and cylinder bore. So thanks for watching, um, appreciate the, all your support and more very, very soon, guys and girls.